Hey guys, it's Mark Sebastian, your only option. And the market just hit a new all time high. Here's my take on what's going on and how I'm playing it. So let's dig in. All right, so the S&P 500, it hit a new all time high on uh wednesday uh closing 57.92 just below 5800 uh heading into cpi um what is concerning about this market this red line represents the cost of options it continues to just go up and up and up even as the market rallies look at this the low tick september 26th the market that day closed 57.45 were 47 points higher and implied volatility is about six bucks higher the vix is still almost 21 so where is that coming from well it might not be coming from the place you're looking take a look at bond option implied volatility this is tlt now i told you last week i think tlt is going to rally well, eventually it will, but right now it is in full on free fall. And look at the move that TLT has made from an implied volatility standpoint. It's gone from 12 on the 27th up to over 18, 1830. Um, the Merrill Lynch move index, this is a, uh, a, a, a big bond index. It is at the highest levels that we've seen since January. Um, it is starting to point toward some real panic. I mean, look, we're at higher levels than we were in the during the August carry trade mess. So bond prices are screaming. Why? Well, you're probably saying, well, Mark, we've got the presidential election. Mark, there's Israel. There's a, the Iran issue. I'm not sure that's it. I don't exactly know what is at the root cause of this but what i'm looking at here folks is bond vigilantes coming in and torching us bonds as our debt is exploding and bond volume bond implied volatility exploding and when you see bond vol up like this and the vix and vix term structure doing this where we're in full backwardation almost never a good thing i will say this to you folks i want you to be i want to be very clear with you there is a major move coming out of the s p 500 and out of the triple q might be up probably down but it might be up and that move is going to be three to five percent in a single day so i i want you to set yourself up for that kind of move how do you do that uh, there's a whole host of different ways to do that. Um, you know, straddles, strangles, uh, back spreads. There's all kinds of, of ways that we look at these types of trades with our pros, with our traders and trading desk, my traders and Delta strike. I've got people set up depending on how sophisticated they are in all kinds of ways. Um, a simple way for me is to look at some of the, the mag seven stocks that I think are relatively cheap. I'm looking at Microsoft and Amazon, buy those, and then hedge them by buying puts in something like the triple Q. Um, and um, have it, and so that I'm getting kind of all the market beta with the triple Q. And then if we do get a rally, I'm expecting some outperformance out of Microsoft and Amazon. And maybe uh, and and that that side of the trade will outperform what I potentially lose in the triple Q. So that's kind of the simplest setup that I've got um, kind of in the back of my head right now. Another option would be uh, to do something in the bond market, but bond market, the bond market volatility, that should be scaring you folks because bond vol and VIX vol, the two of those are saying something is very not right in this market. So be prepared. All right, folks. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you want me to analyze something or you've got questions, leave a comment uh, or a question or a stock symbol below and we'll get to it. Um, all right, folks. Uh, I am Mark Sebastian. I am 
your only option. Have a good one.